Welcome to the Site Assessor Forum tutorial on the new MREA Moodle site. My name is Nicole Rice, MREA's Training Network Coordinator, and I manage the Site Assessment Certificate Program. I'm starting this tutorial on the Site Assessment's main website page, with, which is the MREACSA.org site. This is probably where you're accessing this tutorial from under the SACP Resources Site Assessor Forum here. So on this page, you will find instructions for how to gain access to the forum. And you, uh, the simple way to do that is you just have to email me. You can click on my name here, it will open up an email, or you can send that email to Nicole R at midwestrenew.org. You'll simply want to include your full name on there and that you'd like to have access to the Moodle. This will allow me to create you a username and password that I will then email back to you with logon instructions. Since this is not an automatic process, it could take up to one to three days um, for me to get back to you. But I will do that as quickly as I can. Once you receive that email with, from me with your username and password, you will go to the website courses.midwestrenew.org and you will enter your username and your password and then click login. Just for future reference, in case you ever forget your username and password, there is this helpful button here. If you click on that, you can enter your email address and your username, and it will resend you um, instructions on how to reset your password. The initial time that you log in, after you click log in, it will ask you to immediately reset your password to something more secure so that um, only you will know your password. I will no longer know it. Um, and this will also allow you the opportunity to fill out your uh, profile, which I do encourage you to do, and also to upload an image of yourself as well. But we'll go ahead and log in right away. And it doesn't ask me to reset mine because I already have an account here. But this is the normal page you will see after you um, do your initial login. And this is just a welcome page to the MREA's Moodle site. MREA is using the Moodle platform to host many of their online courses. The resource forums is just one section of the Moodle site. And so the easiest way to find, to navigate your way to the, the site assessment forums is to click on My Home, either here in the text or over here in the right hand menu under navigation in My Home. So we'll click on that and that will bring us to our course overview. You'll see here resources and forums um, is the area that we want to go to. If you do happen to be enrolled in other online courses with MREA, they will also show up in this list and you'll also have access to those. Most of you, however, will probably just have the resources and forums there. You can see this account also has access to another class. But we'll go ahead into the site assessment forum. This brings you to the main page of the site assessment forums. On this page, um, you will have access to all the different resources you'll find on here, including uh, templates, calculators, spreadsheets, technical data, um, and business uh, information as well. This is a place not only to find new information and to stay up to date with what is happening in your field, but also a place where you can participate and offer suggestions or comments um, or other areas that you would like to see. And you can do that with each one of these um, areas here are called a topic. And each topic has a forum and in there you can reply to certain items. And I will we'll go through that on how to do that. I do want to quickly point out our advertising policy here. Please do not uh, use that reply button to advertise. Um, items only include things that are educational in nature. This section here under Site Administrator, under Administrator Announcements are things that I will place there if I want everyone to, to know about them. Um, as you go through the different topics, if you find an area that you have a comment or a question but you don't see a topic that really falls into that area, you can use this General Topics Forum to place um, kind of general items in there. I will be moderating all the comments and questions that are put on to this Moodle forum and um, I will respond as is appropriate. So as you scroll down the page here, you'll notice these different topics 
So general announcements and industry news, uh, templates, software, sales and marketing business plans. I will go into here, this is just kind of general information with, with links. This area here is really a, a big the heart of the, the forums for many users. If we go into the PV, you can see it's broken up uh, with technology. So there's photovoltaics, solar thermal, and wind. We'll just go into the PV here. And under here, this is where you can find the report templates. So if you're just completed the 201 course and you need to do your practice site assessments, this is where you can come to find the financial modeling tools, the spreadsheets that you might need, and your report templates. And also for those of you who already hold your certificate, this is where you can find any of that most up-to-date information. You can see that the dates here will try to keep these updated with the last time that they were reviewed or updated. And these are things that, that do change over time as incentives change. So you can scroll through this and, and find many of the resources that would be helpful to you. If you see something on here that you have a question, a comment, or you would like to see something new on here, or added on here, this is where that reply button is that I mentioned earlier. If we click on that reply, we can go in here and it brings you to this page. You have to scroll back down to the bottom. You can leave the subject as it is, or maybe you would like to change it, but in here is the message of if you have new information, and I'll just type some uh, words in here for now, but this is where you would put in your comments. You can add links in here um, using the, the standard type of, of word tools up here. Um, if you did have a document, you can do add attachments here by using this add button and then browsing your own personal um, computer files. Please note that the size limit is 5 MB, so don't try to upload things larger than that. Once you have included all the information that you would like in there, you simply click post to the forum. It will say that your, your post has successfully been added. It will bring you back to this page and if you see you scroll down to the bottom here and you can see that whatever your information or comment or question will show up down at the bottom. Now you can um, also reply to certain uh, questions or comments on here or reply to the general forum. And so it's a great way to communicate and create that online community. If we'd like to get back to that main page, you can simply use the back button or you can click on this header here, resources and forums. So this will bring us back to the main page where all the different topics are. So as we scroll down, you can see there are different sales, marketing information here. On here, I'll point out that there is a, a press release template. So if you newly uh, got your certificate, um, there's one that's kind of uh, do a little tweaking and it's pretty much ready to go to help you advertise your new skills. You'll find an incentives area. Now, a lot of this still is um, under construction or needs to be added to. So don't be afraid. Each one of these incentives areas has that reply button. If I don't have information on there yet, please, um, and you know of some, please use the reply button and let me know about it and I will um, uh, verify it and then add it if it is appropriate. Down at the bottom here, we do have some career resources, um, some active job boards. If you do have some job postings you know about, you can put that on the jo active job boards by using that reply button. Um, and in the job boards here, we'll just go in here if there are some um, general ones listed with some information about them and then direct links to those job boards. So this is a basic overview of the site assessment <laughs> forum. I will point out some of the, the information over here in these different menu bars. Um, you can simply open and close many of these. You can see under courses here, these are other online courses. And unless you're actually enrolled in those courses, you won't have access to those. If you click on this, it will bring you to a page that asks you to enter a code. Unless you're enrolled, you won't have that code. So you can pretty much uh, just close that up and you don't need to pay attention to that. This area over here will show recent activities, things that have happened on the forum in the last uh, few days. You can. You can open and close these boxes by using the little plus and minus tools here. You can search the forums here. 
the latest news, upcoming events, any of that kind of information you might be able to find over on this side here. But I mainly like to use the navigation once I have gotten here by going to the My Home and then choosing this section. Um, I like to navigate just using this home page, but there is some navigation um, courses here, resources and forums. These are a navigation tool as well under there. If you do have any questions, please feel free to uh, email or call the MREA and I would be happy to help you. Thank you.